So Nick, you know, you seem to have had an interesting insight into the uh, early beginnings of my taxi, which is now called Grab, and that seems to have triggered, you know, a foresight, you know, a vision of, of the future evolving around the sharing economy with you. Could you tell us about that? Yeah, we've been very blessed, uh, Anthony, uh, myself, uh, to be. So that's Anthony Tan, the founder of Grab. Yes, my brother, okay. um, and uh, I was. Uh, given ringside views to how um, the, the beginnings, the humble beginnings of uh, my taxi. So what we saw then was that mobility uh, would change and this change is coming from a perspective of ownership. So in the past, to get around, people would need to own a car. Yeah. Uh, with the sharing economy, ride sharing, uh, car sharing, one does not need to own the car. So you're going from full ownership to fractional ownership. Okay. So where does that uh, vision of this fractional uh, ownership, ownership you know, coming in overlay with your traditional brick and mortar business, right? Of, of selling cars with the Tanjong and Nissan cars. So you deprive the, the consumer of selling their vehicle at the best possible yeah. price. So um, what we've done with our system is that we have aggregated supply and then we put it on a cloud mm -hmm. now everybody can access this data mm -hmm. of what is available mm -hmm. they can bid for mm -hmm. it uh, just by downloading the app right just okay. by downloading and of course buying a bidder card yeah. and paying through John pay mm -hmm. um, the uh, uh, the price of a bidder card yeah. and fully refundable mm -hmm. if the transaction doesn't go mm -hmm. through so they lose nothing yeah. if the transaction is called off and only settle the car after they have seen the car and taken delivery of the car and if it's not what they expect, we will take it back within three days. So uh, just one last question about uh, where do you see this, uh, your move platform being 12 months from now? Well, we like to have a lot more consumer downloads. Yeah. Now we have about 3,000 dealers that are signed on yeah. and um, supply is still a problem for us. Mm -hmm. So hence the publicity that's required mm. so that we can reach out to more consumers, mm -hmm. get them to put their cars on our platform yeah. so that we can then help them sell mm -hmm. and record more transactions. Mm -hmm. And with more transactions, we're able to get the network effects that is required yeah. to go, to go. Uh, nationwide. Yeah. I mean, our main objective is really to get cars. Uh, that is yeah. uh, number one. I get cars on your platform, right? For people to bid for. Okay. Yes. Again, last question. How much has been invested so far in, in taking you know, the, the, the platform to this stage now? I, I would say about uh, 2 million US dollars at okay. least. Yeah. Uh, but also, a uh, large part of it uh, is already in the infrastructure that was, that was actually The physical there. infrastructure for, for the traditional way of doing things. Correct. Okay. So, the physical infrastructure, the land that we sit on, 20 acres, came from Tanchong Group. Mm -hmm. uh, without this storage facility, mm -hmm. we were not able to, to, to aggregate so much demand. Mm -hmm. um, at the same time, uh, the culture of the company being an engineering, mm -hmm. a workshop-based one, mm -hmm. we were able to get the adequate talents to do 180 point inspection because my family has been in the car business yeah. for 60 years. So that also helped. And then we've also started to record our own uh, tripping values mm -hmm. uh, sometime in 2005. So historically, mm -hmm. we were able okay. to get enough data points to see how cars depreciate yeah. over time. So we are able to give a better sense of the numbers mm -hmm. in terms of price discovery uh, because we have the past data. Past data yeah. uh, the trouble with a lot of um, in Malaysia is that there is no yeah, price discovery, exactly, exactly. there is no transparency yeah. in the data and nobody keeps a record. Mm -hmm.